The ground beneath half a million people just moved again. Not slowly. Not gently. But with the kind of force that sends coffee cups sliding across kitchen tables in Pozzoli. Magnitude 2.0. Shallow. Centered between Monte Nuovo and Lago Averno, at just 3 kilometers deep. Other, and this time, something different is happening. Scientists are turning their attention to a place most people have forgotten exists. A volcanic crater so old, so quiet, that families built their homes inside it. 5,000 residents. Living, sleeping, raising children inside the walls of Sigliano Crater. And today, after centuries of silence, the instruments are picking up something nobody expected. The question isn't if Campi Flegre is active. We know it is. We. The question is whether we've been watching the wrong place this entire time. Because while everyone's eyes have been on Solfatara and Pisirelli, Sigliano has been sitting there, forgotten, right in the middle of Pozzuoli's urban sprawl. And the data from the last 48 hours suggests that may have been a mistake. Stay with me. Because what's happening beneath this caldera right now is rewriting what volcanologists thought they understood about this system. Let's establish the facts. At 11.08 this morning, seismographs across the Campi Flegre caldera registered a magnitude 2.0 earthquake. The epicenter sits in the western sector of the caldera, in a zone geologists call the structural weak point. This is where the crust has been fractured repeatedly over millennia. The depth, 3 kilometers, places this tremor squarely in the hydrothermal zone, the layer where superheated water and volcanic gases circulate through fractured rock. This isn't deep magma movement. This is pressure release. When gases accumulate faster than the rock can absorb them, something has to give. And today, it gave. But here's what makes this significant. This earthquake didn't happen in isolation. Over the past seven days, the network has recorded 47 seismic events in this exact corridor. The pattern is unmistakable. Tremors are clustering along a north-south fault line that runs directly beneath Sigliano Crater. Meanwhile, at Pizziarelli Fumaro, ground temperatures hit 102.9 degrees Celsius this morning. That's a sustained increase from 98 degrees just five days ago. At Solfataris Bocca Grande Vent, the main steam outlet, temperatures are holding steady at 179 degrees Celsius. These aren't random numbers, they're threshold indicators. When fumarole temperatures climb without rainfall or seasonal explanation, it means one thing. More heat is rising from below. Um, more fluid is circulating. More pressure is building in the shallow crust. So what's actually happening underground? Campi Flegre isn't a single volcano. It's a nested caldera system. A 12-kilometer wide collapsed magma chamber that erupted catastrophically 39,000 years ago. Since then, it's produced over 20 individual volcanic vents, craters, and explosion pits. Sigliano is one of them. Thousands of years ago, frito magmatic explosions, violent reactions between rising magma and groundwater, carved out this crater. The eruption was short, explosive, deadly, deadly. And then it stopped. The crater cooled, vegetation returned. Centuries passed. Humans moved in. Today, Sigliano looks like a shallow valley, an irregular depression surrounded by low ridges. You wouldn't know you were standing inside a volcanic vent unless someone told you. Beneath the surface, the plumbing is still there. Fractures, faults, pathways that once carried magma and gas. But caldera has been rising, not quickly enough for most people to feel, but measurably, continuously. <laughs> Over the past 18 months, the ground at the center of Pozzuoli has lifted approximately 20 centimeters. That's 8 inches of vertical displacement. Streets have buckled. Building foundations have cracked. 
support dogs no longer align with the waterline they were built for. This is called bradycism, the slow breathing of the caldera. It's not an eruption. It's inflation. The crust is being pushed upward by pressurized fluids migrating through fractures in the rock. And here's the critical part. The deformation isn't uniform. It's concentrated. Ho! The, the maximum uplift is centered offshore, just west of Pozuali Harbor. But secondary deformation zones are appearing. And one of them is directly beneath Sigliano Crater. Satellite radar interferometry is detecting millimeter scale ground movement in areas that have been stable for decades. New that includes the residential neighborhoods built inside and around Sigliano's old crater walls. So the question becomes unavoidable. If Sigliano's subsurface is connected to the same pressurized system feeding Solfatara and Pizzarelli, what happens when that pressure finds a new outlet? Have you felt any ground shaking in your area recently? Even if it was mild? Drop a comment and let us know where you're located and what you experienced. Because tracking these tremors through community reports helps fill gaps the official networks sometimes miss. Let's talk about what Sigliano actually is. This isn't a tourist site. There are no warning signs, no fences, no visitor centers. It's just there, embedded in the urban fabric of Pozioli. The crater walls, eroded and softened by millennia of weathering, form a shallow bowl roughly 800 meters across. Inside that bowl, there are homes, small farms, gardens, a neighborhood. Outside the rim, more houses climb the slopes. Approximately 5,000 people live within the immediate Sigliano area. Most of them have no idea they're inside a volcanic structure. Because Sigliano hasn't done anything for thousands of years, it's been geologically invisible. But invisibility doesn't mean inactivity. Beneath Sigliano, the same magmatic system that powers the rest of Campi Flegre extends its reach. Ancient conduits, fracture networks, Fracture, pathways that once allowed gas and magma to reach the surface, and when the entire caldera pressurizes, those pathways don't disappear, they respond. In some areas, you can still find evidence of Sigliano's volcanic past. Altered rock, mineral deposits, faint traces of hydrothermal fluids that seeped through the ground long ago. These are geological fingerprints. They tell us Sigliano was never truly dormant. It was just waiting. And now, with the entire caldera system in a state of elevated unrest, Sigliano is back on the radar. So, so here's a question for you. If you lived inside an ancient volcanic crater and only just found out about it today, would you stay or would you leave? Comment below. We want to hear your honest answer. This isn't just about rocks and magma. It's about people, real families, real lives built on unstable ground. In the neighborhoods surrounding Sigliano, residents are starting to notice things. Cracks appearing in walls that were fine last month. Doors that no longer close properly. Tiles shifting on bathroom floors. These aren't construction defects. They're symptoms of ground deformation. <laughs> The port of Pozzuoli has seen boats scrape the harbor floor during low tide because the seabed has risen. Fishermen are adjusting routes. Ferry schedules are being modified. And all of this is happening while the seismic activity continues to climb. 47 earthquakes in one week. In one week. Most of them too small to cause damage, but each one is a reminder that the system underneath is active, restless, and unpredictable. Here's what I want to know from you. If your government told you to prepare an evacuation bag, but didn't say when, or if you'd actually need to leave, would you do it? <laughs> Me do it. Or would you wait until the situation got worse? Drop your answer in the comments because this is the exact dilemma thousands of people in Pozzuoli are facing right now. They're being told to be ready, but not to panic. So where does this leave us? 
Campi Flegre is not erupting. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. But it is absolutely, undeniably active. The combination of rising ground temperatures, increasing seismic frequency, and expanding deformation zones points to one thing. Pressurized fluids are moving through the caldera's fracture network. <laughs> and Sigliana, the forgotten crater that nobody talks about, is now part of that conversation. But here's the uncomfortable truth. Monitoring is not the same as predicting. Scientists can tell you what's happening right now. They can show you trends. Hmm. <laughs> but they cannot tell you with certainty what will happen tomorrow, next week, or next month. Volcanoes don't follow schedules. <laughs> to pressure, to heat, to the physics of rock and fluid. And right now, Campi Flegre is responding. <laughs> ah, responding. The question you need to ask yourself is this. If you lived in Pozzuoli, how much warning would you need to feel safe? One day? One week? One hour? If you're in the Campi Flegre area, here's what you should have ready. An evacuation bag with essentials. Essentials. Water, documents, medication, flashlight, battery-powered radio. Communication plan with family members in case networks go down. Watch for updates. Pay attention to the signs the Earth is already giving you. Cooled. Sigliano Crater may have been quiet for thousands of years, but today it's reminding us that volcanic systems have long memories, and when pressure builds, old pathways reopen. This isn't fear. This is reality. And reality. And reality demands respect. If this video gave you information you didn't have before, if it made you think differently about Campi Flegre, then do two things. Hit that subscribe button right now to stay safe, stay informed, and keep your eyes on Campi Flegre. Because this story is far from over.